I want to go back and refer to one of my sons again. Uh, he was just a little guy, learning to talk. And uh, other than Mama and Dada, the first word that came out of his mouth was this, mine. Well, good morning, dear ones. Thank you for uh, tuning in again today. And uh, boy, I hope it's, it's cooler where you are than where we are here in Central Texas. My, we've had a heat wave. Anyway, I want to start off with a verse from Titus that says, Our great God and Savior gave himself to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works. I want to go back and refer to one of my sons again. Uh, he was just a little guy learning to talk. And uh, other than Mama and Dada, the first word that came out of his mouth was this, mine. And he said it with authority, mine. Well, <laughs> we're kind of like that, aren't we? We like to say that we own things, whether it's a garden hoe or a set of china or a car or a house, uh, our money, our money, my money. Oh, well, let's talk about that some other time. But at any rate, we like to say that things belong to us. We like to say it's mine. And we think that we own ourselves too. I remember the words of the poet, William Henley, and he said these proud words. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Well, famous last words, Mr. Henley, I trust you found the Lord. But, you know, we like to say that. But here in the book of Romans, we find four times that we are slaves to sin before we come to Christ. Before we come to the Lord Jesus, we think we're our own master, but we were slaves to sin as slaves to the enemy of our soul. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, we read this, and this is addressed to us as Christians, dear one. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you? You are not your own. You were bought with a price. Let's personalize that to ourselves. I am not my own. I was bought with a price. You know, that brings conviction to me, for I find myself too often doing what I want to do. But you know what? We were bought with a price. We belong to Jesus. He purchased us. He redeemed us with his own life's blood. And he wants to purify us. And part of that is getting us to where we allow him to be the Lord of our lives. Are we cooperating with him in that? There's a verse in 2 Corinthians as well. And he says, he died for all that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised again. Wow, you know, we so easily say things like Lord Jesus, but are we really, am I really letting him be the Lord of my life? Am I letting him dictate? Am I putting him on the throne of my life? Am I letting him call the shots, so to speak? You know, he's not a hard taskmaster. Remember his sweet words from Matthew, where he says, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. And if you've walked with him for a while, you know that's true. Well, dear ones, that's all I had today. That's what I wanted to share with you today. If there's been something that has touched you, uh, I pray that, uh, that you will think about it prayerfully, ponder it, and if you feel so led, again, we would ask that you share this with others. And so until we meet again, the Lord willing, take care. So long.